how do you prevent strength and muscle loss while you're on a fat cutting diet? Because a lot of people, I don't recommend it, but a lot of people eat everything in sight. They bulk, bulk, bulk. They get strong, strong, strong. They get big, big, big. Then they realize they're fat, so they start to go ahead and, and, and start to cut down, okay? And when they start cutting their calories, they're like, oh my God, I'm shrinking and I'm not as big as I used to be. And, uh, you know, they're losing strength and et cetera, and et cetera, and et cetera. Now, let me go ahead and give you like the very simple, very obvious answers here that nobody wants to hear and nobody wants to believe, okay? Let me just say, well, first of all, assuming that you're not a moron, assuming that you are still training hard, you're still maintaining your resistance training, whether it's calisthenics, weighted calisthenics, weight training, whatever, you're still training your muscles the way you were when you were trying to get stronger, and you are still consuming a whole lot of protein, okay? Do not go on a fat loss diet that includes cutting your protein. If anything, increase your protein. So assuming that you're still training and assuming that you're getting enough protein, here is the answer to your question, okay? Number one, you're not losing muscle. You're not losing muscle size, okay? You were never that big. The thing is this, most people who dirty bulk, most people who don't lean bulk, it's not something I recommend it, but most people do it like that, and most of the people who you know, bulk like that, think they're gaining pure muscle, okay? And a lot of them are gaining more fat than anything else. Now, tell me this. Why is it, okay, that if I lose five pounds, I'll probably lose an inch around my waist, okay? If somebody loses an inch around their waist, they're not going to be like, oh my God, I'm losing mass in my, my obliques and my lower back and my deadlifts are going to suffer because I'm losing all the muscle in my lower back and, and, and my, 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 my serratus is shrinking because, no, they realize that their muscle in, in this corset, you know, lower back, abs, obliques, everything, they understand that their muscle is more or less staying the same and it's covered with fat. Now, obviously, if you lose that fat, your waist is going to shrink and that's what they want. Guess what? You've got triceps fat, you've got chest fat, you've got fat on your ass, you've got fat on your thighs, you got fat everywhere, okay? So, if somebody loses 20 pounds of fat and they lose like an inch or two around their biceps, they didn't lose any biceps or triceps mass, okay? They just lost the fat that they had on their arms, okay? It's the same thing as your waist. Your weight, you're not losing muscle around your waist in your abs or your lower back. You're just losing all the fat, okay? Your abs were never that big. You never had, you know, a 35-inch waist of pure abs, okay? It was like, you know, a 30-inch waist with like five inches of fat around it. Okay, and it's the same thing with your arms. You never had 21 inch arms. Okay, you had like, you know, like, you know, like whatever, you know, you, you had like a few inches of fat. Okay, so if you lose like 10, 15, 20 pounds of fat and you lose size in your arms, you never had that fat, that, that size in the first place. Okay, so first of all, you know, yes, it is possible if you starve yourself and if you don't work out and if you don't get enough protein, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and you continue this insane caloric deficit for weeks and months on end, yes, your muscles will start at some point to atrophy, but it's not like if you go on like a three or four or five or six week cut that you're going to be losing, you know, muscle that quickly. So first of all, just realize you weren't that big in the first place. Okay, I get this a lot. I mean, I remember... I'm, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but just as one example, I mean, I had one guy who was a, a personal training client, like, you know, maybe a year or so ago. And he's like, yeah, man, um, you know, I haven't really worked out since high school or whatever, but I, you know, I'm, I'm going to start working out again. I weigh like 225 and I want to get down to a ripped 200 pounds. He seriously thought that he's in like his forties. Okay. You know, and he's going to lose 25 pounds, go from 225 to 200. It's going to be a ripped and shredded 200 pounds. I, right now, am under, okay, well under 200 pounds. I've been working out heavy for the last couple of years, okay? And I'm not fucking shredded. So what made does, you know, so what does this guy who has it, he's in his 40s, he hasn't worked out in like two decades, hasn't lifted weights, thinks he's going to go from 225 to 220, and he's going to be shredded, okay? He thinks he's a lot more muscular than he is, and he thinks he has a lot less fat to lose, a lot less fat to lose than he does. He should probably get down to at least 170, 
maybe even lower if he's going to, you know, at the, his level of lean mass, if he's going to be shredded. Okay, so the 25 pounds he thinks he has to lose, he's really going to have to lose like 50, maybe, you know, 55, 60 pounds. Okay, so like I said, you were never that big in the first place. You are not losing muscle size. You are losing fat that covered your muscles and made it look bigger. Okay, it's like taking off a jacket, you know, put on a big thick jacket and I'm like, man, look at me, I'm all big. Take the jacket off and you're small, okay? You were never that big in the first place. You just had fat on you. Great, now, let's talk about strength. Um, you know, why is it that you lose strength? Well, okay, so check this out. If you are in an extreme cut, like if you are really cutting down certain macronutrients, if you're really cutting down your calories, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you're just not going to feel good, man. Okay. Now, yes, if you go, you know, if, if you go once again, if you're on a screwed up diet with not enough protein, you're not training, whatever. Yeah. If you starve yourself long enough, yes, you will lose strength just like you'll lose muscle, but it's not going to happen overnight. Okay. So think of it like this. Let's say you don't get sleep for a week. Okay. For a week, you're getting like three, four hours of sleep because all hell breaks loose in your personal life, your business life, whatever. And you're just not getting any sleep. Do you think you're going to be able to train as hard as you can, but you're not going to go to the gym and be like, Oh my God, I lost all my strength. No, you're gonna be like, fuck, I'm tired as shit. I just don't have the intensity. I don't have the concentration to work out like I used to, okay? You know, and then you get a, like a decent weekend sleep and you just kind of relax. You sleep a lot. You know, you just chill out. You get your head straight. Monday, you come back and boom, holy shit, the strength's there again. And it's basically the same thing with, uh, you know, with working out. Like, you know, uh, I put up a video a while ago where I was like, um, you know, I pulled uh, with a trap bar. I pulled, uh, you know, 500 pounds four times. Normally, I pull it five times easily. You know, I mean, not easily, but like with 100% certainty, I can move this weight with perfect form five times. And I only hit it like four times. Why? Because I was dieting. You know, I wasn't losing strength. I wasn't losing size. I wasn't losing muscle. It was just, man, it's just like I just didn't have the same energy that I did if I was eating more. Okay. So when you do you know, come out of your massive deficit, whether you fat cycle, you know, add in like a refeed, uh, you know, transition out of the diet, go back to maintenance, whatever, 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 whatever. Once you eat more, once you have more energy, okay, because let's be honest, that's how you diet, okay? Your protein stays the same or even increases, and then you cut out your energy food. For me, all I eat is protein and fat, so I cut down my fat which means I have less energy. If you eat carbs, you cut down your carbs, okay? If you eat carbs and fat, you cut down your carbs and your fat. The point is you take out energy food, so you have to burn more fat for energy. So obviously, you're going to have less available energy, and if you have less available energy, you're gonna have worse concentration, your mood's not gonna be the same. You know, the deeper you go into a cut, the harder, the stricter you are, the leaner you get. Yeah, it's, you're, you're going to not be as strong in the gym, but it's not because you're losing strength and it's not because you're losing muscle. It's just because, you know, you just don't have the energy, you don't have the concentration, you don't have the mood to really go ahead and kill the weights. Like if you're just eating your ass off and sleeping a lot, you know, it's just really, you know, in, in the bulk, okay? So anyway, that's it. Like I said, don't worry your pretty little head you're not shrinking. You were never that big in the first fucking place. You're just losing the fat that made you look bigger than you really were, okay? And you're not losing your strength. You're just losing your energy, okay? As soon as you come on out of the diet, transition out of the diet, go back to maintenance, you'll be just as strong as you were. Hell, you may even be stronger, okay? Um, check it out. If you're really interested in knowing how to do this the right way, i.e. gain strength and size in your muscles without getting fat, okay? and to uh, cut fat without losing strength, without losing size for real, okay? Um, you know, and to be able to transition between the two to do basically anything you want to do with your body composition, okay? Uh, check out my program, Low Carb Cutting and Bulk. It's basically what I've been using for the last, uh, you know, couple years straight. Whether I was bulking, I threw on like 18 pounds of muscle, got strong as all hell, okay, on uh, the basic movements, and now I'm just getting lean. Okay, uh, while well, maintaining my strength. So go ahead, low carb, cutting a bulking, check it out. See if that's not exactly what you're looking for to guide you 
for the rest of your life <laughs> through changing your body composition. Okay, cutting and bulking. Uh, watching this on YouTube, go underneath the video and just click on the link and you'll find it right there. And if you're watching this on IGTV, just go to my profile and click on low carb cutting and bulking. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.